Hi, my name is Gary. I'm from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner. Today we're going to look at segments in MailChimp. A segment is a way we divide up our contacts with similar interests so that we can target our marketing more appropriately. For most organizations, best practice in MailChimp is to have a single audience and then divide that audience by segments. So let me demonstrate segments to you. As you can see, I'm in my audience in MailChimp. I add my data, I import my data into my audience. Let's say, for example, that I want to know all people that attend my CBD store. So what I'm looking for here is the store column or the store field is CBD. So we can create a segment so I can market to all people in this, that, that are interested in the CBD store. All I do is I click new segment and I build my criteria. So for example, I'll find the field. So in this case, the field was called store where my store is CBD, for example. It's not case sensitive. I click preview segment and you can see that uh, these are all the people that have CBD in the store field. I can then save the segment. I click save segment and let's just people CBD store. Let's just call it that. It, I can call it anything I want to. It's for my own housekeeping purposes and I'll click save. To show how this works, I'm going to just refresh my audience. And now if I click view segment, you'll notice I can click people CBD store and there all my people in my CBD store are. And segments are dynamic in that as people meet or don't meet those criteria, they'll either be added to the segment or fall out of the segment. And segments are calculated at the time the marketing is sent. What I mean by that is let's say we are sending email marketing the segment or the people that fall into the segment are calculated at the time the email is actually sent, the email campaign is sent. Let's look at segments a little bit more. I'm just going to click the close button to get out of the segment. So I'm seeing my full audience at the moment. Let's say we want all people that attend the CBD store that like chocolate ice cream. Well, that's quite simple. What I'm looking for here is store CBD, Fay flavor is chocolate. So I'll go new segment and add a criteria. I'll leave that as all. So what I'm looking for here, as I mentioned, I'm looking for store and the other field I'm looking for is Fay flavor. Of course, I can change the various sort of search criteria if you want to call them that from is to is not or contains. So we could go where my CB, sorry, my store is CBD and Fay flavor Let's go, starts with chalk or oh, chop. There we go. Preview segment. And there we can see all these people meet both those criteria. Let's go back to our full audience. Of course, I would have saved that if I did want to save that segment. So under Fave Flavor, let's say here we wanted to know all people that like chocolate or strawberry ice cream. So I'm looking for Fay flavor is chocolate or Fay flavor is strawberry. Well, new segment. Add a criteria. And in this case, I'll change contacts match all to be any. I will add my Fay flavor because that's the field I'm, I'm searching on or filtering on and change to Fay flavor again. So where my fav flavor, and again, we could just go contains, let's say CHO, where my fav flavor starts with STR for strawberry, preview segment, and there all my people are who either have strawberry or chocolate in the fav flavor field. And then of course I would save that segment. We can include almost all the data we have or any of the data we have in MailChimp in our segment. We can include tags as well. So we could go where our tag is competition and Fay flavor is chocolate, for example. And that's how we use segments. So often the best thing to do is to look at how you want to target people based on what data you have. So based on the store, based on the flavor, whatever it is. 
Then you can build your segments. You save your segments and they will automatically calculate for you. Thank you for joining me.